I just took a fat nap. It's like, let me see. It's 1.30 in the afternoon right now. I got some packages I gotta pick up downstairs. So let's go right now. Dude, I don't even know if it's just me, but I fucking love opening packages. It's like Christmas every single day. Now we can get this wrapper open though. These pure protein bars are so good. You get at Costco, I think there's like 21 in the whole pack. This chocolate and peanut butter one, bomb. All right, first package. I'm guessing these are the slides I ordered. One of my friends over the weekend, he broke my, uh, the sandals I wear outside of my room because the floors are dirty as hell. So now the strap came off. I'll show you guys. You see this? I don't even know how you break this. Like, it's like a little circular piece that's like, I don't think it's glued on. I think it's like molded on. This end. And then you put it on, and after one step, the shit just came off and broke. I was like, what the hell? So I've been walking around my room like a handicapped person, like limping on one side because that side's broken. I'm not trying to wear my shoes around, so. But yeah, so I ordered these. Damn, this thing's chewy, can't even talk. I need a little water breaking. Ooh, he's pretty clean. Size 10, baby. Next package. This one's pretty heavy. I forgot what this is though. Oh shit. Goody, goody, goody. Got some, uh, see, I'm gonna open one of these boxes. I'm gonna show you guys. Honestly, like, you can't. I couldn't find this at, like, any of like, the white grocery stores like Costco, Whole Foods. Um, H-E-B, like, none of the places sell it. It's called, um, oh, it's a seal. But it's SMB Golden Curry, and then it's the mild one. I'm gonna use this in one of my upcoming videos, uh, for this curry chicken that I make. Bomb. There's weight on it. You know, my lunch right now, this is some chicken that I made, uh, I think a day or two ago. It was one that I showed you guys in the video. Exact same recipe. And then I got a bagel. It's kind of weird, but uh, I mean, this is you're getting your protein, uh, bagel, you're getting your carbs, and the cream cheese, you're getting your fat. So, I mean, you're hitting all your macronutrients. I mean, it's okay, it's weird as fuck, but I mean, I love bagels, I love chicken, so shit works for me. Wanted to go in a different direction. Uh, all right, so I'm taking my 2.30 class right now. I have this every Monday and Wednesday. It's called Gov310L, and I freaking hate this class. It is so boring. They literally just sit there and talk for like an hour and a half. Just keep talking, talking, talking. And they give you a pop quiz, and then you can't find any of the answers on Quizlet, which is bullshit. Because this is a really stupid class. Like, I don't know. I took this class expecting it to be like almost like a blow off class, like kind of easy, but they make it so hard. Like, I'm not even a government major, I'm a math major. I, I, I really don't see why I need to learn this stuff. It's stupid. I'm never gonna use it. Um, I don't know. I think it's really stupid to be honest with you. Here's this question. According to a 2012 poll, what percentage of Americans reported that they read a newspaper the day before? Why the hell do I need to know this? Why the hell do I need to know this 29%? Like, when the hell am I ever going to use that? Never. This is so stupid. Straight up busy work.
dates are so good. Dripping out the sauce, see I'm leaning over. You gotta get her drunk, but I fuck her sober. My plug just got a call, I met him by the All right, so I'm on my way to get a haircut right now. I've had a cut in like four weeks. It's long. And it's long as hell, so I take my hat off. I'm gonna get this cut. You fucking with them niggas, girl, that's what I told you. Hey, pull up in a foreign on some cool shit. Hey, white bitch with me, call her cool. Well, hey, goes move that eight ball like a pool stick. Hey, she asked me, boy, how the fuck you do it? Hey, I got my bands up, don't fuck with nobody. Hey, I'ma get rich and be a somebody. Hey, and now these bitches on me, get the fuck above me. Hey, I kick it like I'm jetly and my bitch is cocky. Yeah, she highlight wasabi. Yeah, should've seen her body. Yeah, she got on my Johnny. Yeah, and roll me like a Harley. Yeah. Just got the fresh cut. I think it looks pretty good. Showing the sides, just how I like it. Ugh. Now I'm gonna drive back and then I have practice in like an hour or two, I think. Let me see. This is not the time. Hour and. What's the math? 12 minutes. Oh, what the hell? 4.4 miles. 20 minutes. You gotta be shitting me. What the hell, man? So I'm making my dinner right now. I'm gonna use a sous vide machine. If you guys don't have one yet, you guys definitely gotta go get one. It just makes steak, ribs, whatever you wanna make, a lot easier. And I actually made this two days ago. If you have me on Snapchat, I made this. It's the exact same recipe. So this steak's actually frozen. You can put a frozen steak straight in there and don't cook it. But basically, I added some garlic and pepper and some avocado oil and you really don't need anything else uh some people add salt to it but personally i think when you add salt it draws the water out and steak just isn't juicy anymore so i'll add the salt after i finish cooking it so basically okay i'll put it in the sous vide machine cooking the water it'll take about three hours i know it takes a really long time it takes since this is frozen it'll take about three hours but it'll come to the right temperature for me i like medium rare and that's 130 to 35 degrees. So after three hours, I'll cook the steak to that exact temperature, and then you can take it out, and then some people finish it off in the pan. Personally, I have a grill here, so I'll take it out and then put on the grill to the highest setting, and I'll throw the steak on there, get the grill marks on, get, get the chart on the outside, and it'll taste bomb. So basically, this is actually pretty easy. So you put it in a plastic bag, and then you just sink it in here in the water. Oh fuck yeah. Fuck yes, Alfred. Hey, this is my friend Omar. What's up, man? What's up? Nice to meet you. I don't have one of those food saver things where you kind of stick the food in this plastic bag and then it'll suck all the air out and then seal it. I don't have that, so I just use a basic freezer ziplock. And the trick is you want to close it all the way up until you have like that much space left. And then you just dip whatever you have into the water and you get the water as close to the top as you can. And okay, I don't know the exact science behind it. I don't know if it's like the, the air pressure or whether like, I don't know. But basically when you do that, it'll push all the air out. And then once you get the, once you push it all the way down to about right there, close the ziplock. And then what I like to do is I'll get something heavy, like I have a glass jar filled with a little more water. And I'll place it on top so it'll keep the object from floating up. And then, so yeah, if you, if it floats up, it'll kind of fuck up the cooking because then the top part is going to be cold and the bottom is going to be cooked. So you put that down there and yeah, you basically just leave it there. Um, so I practice at 6.30. I have to leave in like 22 minutes. Come back. I have tutoring, at, uh, tutoring from 9 to 10. And after that, come back. This should all be done. I'll take it out, take it out to the grill, and, and then I'll finish cooking it. This is my pre-workout meal today. Got cereal, Cheerios. And then, dude, this shit is so bomb. I saw this at the grocery store last week. Girl Scouts Thin Mints. Best cereal ever. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how I roast my sweet potatoes. 
So you want to do first is, well mine's already preheating, but you want to set it to 450. And then, it's a little trick, I like to put a foil down on my baking sheet. So if you don't, like, those are roasting, this juice comes out and it gets super, super sticky and super hard to wash. So this is like super easy, makes it for easy cleanup. So you want to do is wash the sweet potatoes and then make sure you get something sharp. You can use a fork, you can use a knife, I use a knife, and you just like just poke a couple holes in there. Because if you don't, the sweet, potato, the sweet potato could explode, like the juice will just pop out and just fuck up your oven. So poke little holes and then just right in there. So. And then sweet potatoes range in like many different sizes. So there's not exactly, there's not one exact time to where like, okay, if you do it for 30 minutes and everything's gonna be cooked. Cause some, some are smaller, some are bigger. So what I like to do is I put it in, I'll probably check back every 15, 20 minutes. And then you know it's done when the juices start leaking out of the sweet potato and then it'll be perfect. It'll be kind of soft and be super sweet. So once you take it out of the sous vide, you want to let it rest for about like 20, 20, 30 minutes because there's actually a lot of juice that comes out when you sous vide it. And then so you want the steak to kind of cool off and then allow it to reabsorb the juice. So uh, yeah, so mine's already rested for about 30 minutes already. So I'm gonna take it out and you want to make sure it's dry. I actually don't have any paper towels, so I'm just gonna like wipe it off with the plastic. And you want to take off any of the garlic bits that was in there from the beginning. And that should be good enough. All right. And so that's safe there if you can see it. What I forgot to mention earlier, uh, when you're putting it into the sous vide bag, you want to use uh, like fine pepper, like finely ground pepper. You don't want to use the coarse stuff because if it's too coarse, personally, I feel like the flavor won't go into the steak. If you grind it into a fine powder, it'll allow the steak to easily absorb it. But right now, so I'm gonna season it with pepper and salt before it goes on the grill. And this is this is where I put the salt. You want to make sure that both of them are on the coarse setting because it just tastes better that way. Just mine real quick. And make sure you hit it with a lot of pepper and a lot of salt. Because when you put it on the grill, you gotta remember like a lot of it will rub off on the grates. Almost like rocks on there basically. Okay, let me use a fork. You wanna press in the salt and pepper. So hopefully more stays in, you know? Okay, and then you're gonna wanna flip sides. Try not to stab it. Oh, it's, like a, it's like a little extra piece on the side. Look at that perfect medium rare right there. All right, so I'm gonna take this to the grill and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys. Okay guys, so I just let it rest for about 10 minutes now and cut it open and you'll see what it looks like. Straight down the middle. Oh my god. Dude, look at this. That's perfect medium rare right there. Look at that. And there's like almost no brown on the outside edges. That's crazy.
Look at that, man. Look at that. Bomb. All right guys, so here's my dinner. I got steak and then roasted sweet potato. It's already 12 right now, so I'm just gonna eat my dinner, do my homework, and probably just go to sleep. See you guys next time. Yeah. This life I cannot change In the hills, deep off in the main Eminem, sweet like candy cane Drop the top, pop it, let it bang